Hey, it's Courtney here with another Junior Sabbath School. This morning is a story that really um, is, you know, the lesson goes over a story that just really touches me. I think it's really important to know and, and think about, and it kind of really um, gives us a good idea of some principles we need to live by. Um, so first, our power text is, For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive and abundant in mercy to all those who call upon you. Psalm 85, um, 86, verse 5. Um, and so what we want to know here, what we want to understand is that God's forgiveness has no bounds, none at all. Does yours? You know, mine does sometimes. It can be really hard to forgive, especially when someone hurts you so deeply. But God's forgive, forgiveness is just, it's never ending. So this story um, comes from, um, which verse is it? This is in Matthew um, verse eight, uh, chapter 18. I am stumbling all over my words this morning. Um, Matthew chapter 18. And so, um, there's the parable here is that there's a rich King and he is, you know, telling this man, um, you know, you owe me debt. I'm going to be taking, what did he say? Um, um, your children and your wife will be thrown in jail until you pay this debt back to me. Um, and the man you see in verse 26 says, Master, have patience with me and I will pay you all. Um, and so the king decided to forgive the servant and let him go free. He completely forgave him and released him from that. And so, I mean, instead of <laughs> being grateful and living his life like with forgiveness as well, you know, taking this and living it out in addition. Um, this man goes to his coworker and demands he pay his debt to him. And he has him thrown in jail because he can't. And so when the king hears about this, he's like, excuse me, I just forgave you your debt and you're going to throw this other guy for a smaller debt into jail. So then the king throws this guy in jail. <laughs> so it's just back and forth. Um, but you know, we are like this servant in the story. We have a debt. We have a debt and it's been forgiven us. You know, Jesus paid the debt for us on the cross. And so here we are and we have this choice. Are we going to hold people in debt to us? Or are we going to forgive people the way that God has already forgiven us? And you can see in this story kind of what's going to happen to us if we're holding on to debts others have to us. Um, and, you know, I don't even think it's as much as like God punishing as much as if we're living that way in our hearts with no forgiveness and no opportunity for healing, we're just going to be miserable naturally. We're bringing it upon ourselves to live unhappily and in jail like the servant in this story. Um, you know, the Bible says that the penalty for sin is death and Jesus paid the debt. Um, but this, this is just a free gift of salvation forever. Um, but yeah, we have to really work hard to forgive those who have hurt us. And it's really hard. It's really hard and that's okay. It doesn't need to be easy. It wasn't easy for Jesus. Um, you know, it was painful. It was a sacrifice. So we might have to make similar sacrifices. We might not die on a cross, but we will have to make sacrifices sometimes to live up to the expectations that God puts before us. Um, true freedom comes from accepting God's forgiveness and sharing that forgiveness with others. So step one is accepting this forgiveness that God has given you. And step two is sharing that with others. Um, today, you might accept the challenge to be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Do you recognize that verse? It's from Ephesians 4.32. I'm going to read it to you again. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Forgave you. So I have a couple questions I want you to just think about, um, pray about, talk with your family about. Um, the first one here is, let me find it. Where did it go? Scrolling down the page. Okay. So when have you acted like the unforgiving servant? 
What think to yourself, what is the time where I've kind of been like this? I can think in my head of how I've been like this as an adult pretty recently. Um, and then what could you have done differently? And you still have the opportunity to forgive and make that different choice, right? So think about a situation where you might have been like the unforgiving servant and how could you either fix this or what could you do differently in the future to prevent this from happening again? Um, and then think about too, which of the characters in the story is most like you? You know, do you have a tendency or a pattern to do things a certain way? And think about that and what that means for you and what that means for other people and how God wants you to be. Is it how God wants you to be? And I want you to think about this important question. I think this is an incredibly important question that sometimes we can only answer for ourselves. And that is, what does it mean to forgive from your heart? I'd really like for you to think about that today. What does it really mean to forgive from your heart? All right, let's have a word of prayer as we close. Father, thank you so much for this day, for the Sabbath. Lord, please bless us. Help us to be more like you, more like the forgiving King. And Father, bless us and just thank you for your forgiveness and your sacrifice. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, guys, short and sweet today. I hope you've had a great week and continue to have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye.